What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B. How about your shout out? Stepping in the building, I got a music executive and marketing genius stepping off in this thing. Mo Town Lee, what's good with it, folks? What it do? Oh, I mean, Mo, first of all, man, I mean, it's nearing the day of one music fest, yeah. sir. Yeah, we, we, we I mean, we're how close. you feeling, man? First of all, that lineup is stupendous. How you feel? You know what, man? Like, this the time where, like, my anxiety be hella high. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it be hella high, but now I'm, like, I'm trying to keep it calm. Mm -hmm. Cause every year, dog, I be ready to, you know, I be ready to kill somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ready to kill somebody, but I be trying to be cool because yeah. you can't, you know what I'm saying? We say we, you can't have a bad day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like my anxiety high is high because, like, I'm excited. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, New venue, all this, and like every year we grow, so I'm excited. To like so for everybody else to come and experience yeah. and everything. But then on the flip side, you be irritated and everything because niggas be calling you, asking you some. Come on, I love my friends, you know what I'm saying, and family and people on the DMs and all yeah. this. Like I appreciate it, and I'm more accessible than like my other partners, but. When niggas call you and be like, hey, can you bring a chair out there? I'm like, man. It's like, no. We were out here trying to juggle this 13 to exactly. $16 million thing, right? I ain't got time to be asking no damn questions about a chair or, you know, I'm thinking about bringing my mama uh Well, okay, bring her. Bring her. Just hit, know hit, you go be here. Hit the link, though. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Hit that, <laughs> hit, that, hit that ticket link. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. Yeah, what saying. is it like having to juggle, juggle them big-ass budgets, though, sir? Dog, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Every year, I'm going to tell I, I, I asked a question just to be a jerk on Instagram the other day, right? And I said, yeah. if I gave you $2 million to create a, a festival lineup with yeah, 10 yeah. artists, what would you come up with? And then pick, I'm like, I'm looking at the answers. I'm like, oh, people have no idea. They like, well, I'm a book. I book Drake, Beyonce. I'm like, these folks ain't even picking up the <laughs> phone for two million. What? Just one individual. So you think you fit a book? All these cats. So people had no idea how much this junk costs. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, especially for the big artists, they got to get it. I ain't gonna put their business out there, but. Hey man, I ain't picking up the. You think Beyonce picking up the phone for two? Oh my God, I would think so. That was two million dollars, sir, for okay. for an hour and a half. You ain't, you hey, won't dog. come out here for an hour and Beyonce a half. Beyonce said she filling out uh, uh, the football stadium, yeah, the show. Benz. and then folks paying everything from on the low end three to five thousand dollars a ticket. You do the math. <laughs> she oh. ain't picking up no phone for no two. Oh my God! At all. So then, how do you go about making sure that you get a good quality? Because y'all got a whole army of folks performing, yeah. though, sir. Yeah. We so do. with that two million, it seems like y'all <laughs> is you paying everybody oh, a dollar. Now listen, that's the two million I put on IG. It ain't two million. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that's the two million I just asked for. Yeah. No, no, no. You got, you got to add. It. You you got to multiply that two by eight. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> yeah, like it ain't it ain't no joke, but like for us <laughs> you lean on relationships. Yeah. Um, you also you look at like from the you know, top line all the way on down, you kinda like going through what people wanna see. You're going through like as far as you breaking down like they ticket sales. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you're going through, you know, who ain't been to the market, nostalgia, and everything like that. You just have to have a, like, we got a perfect team, perfect nuance, like, a people's, like, opinion and, and research of what we do to put it together. Yeah. And then, again, again it's them relationships because, yeah. you know, you got to have relationships with agents, managers, you know, and able to be, because sometimes the agents, they going to play a game with you, and then you got to pick up that phone and talk to the manager, like, hey, man, like, you, yeah. can, can you – can you do us one? They're like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And we, when it got to the point, it's cool because we got to the point where, like, nationally we have a name. Yeah. And then anybody that's came, like, out of the agents and artists, like, as far as, especially, you know, for the black artists, this shit feel like a big, like, family reunion yeah, yeah. to them. At other festivals, you're not necessarily performing for all your people. And, like, it don't feel like home. 
So they look forward to performing. So, yeah. you know, we can kind of get certain situations and certain deals and, and certain people hopping on board because, you know, who we are and how we present it right now. So. Yeah. 